Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. Today is Sunday, Sunday means Tax Sunday and every Sunday we bring something new in DAX. And today we are going to talk about filter propagation in DAX. Filters are the core part of DAX where we are going to filter the data based on certain conditions. But how these filters work, that means how these filters propagate. So we are going to discuss about all these filter propagation concept in DAX and we will talk about what is the filter propagation in DAX then we are going to talk about the cross filtering visuals then we'll talk about the reading the initial filter context in DAX and then also we are going to discuss about its flow so let's head over to my laptop and see how does it actually works Before starting, I would like to introduce you with my current data model that I'm gonna use. I have this internet sales table, which I'm calling the sales table. It's my fact table. And then we have the date, product, customer, territories are my dimensional tables. And also you can see there's one to many relationships and it's under star schema. I'm not arranged like a star, but it's under the star schema. Now let's move on to my part where we are going to discuss about what is filter pro uh, propagation so basically what happens whenever we are trying to filtering out our data we have to see what is the direction of this filtering how the filtering is going on so we call it filter propagation how filters are working inside your model so for example if i talk about over here here you will see there's one to many relationship between the date dimension table and the sales which is my fact table and here you will see its direction of the arrow this arrow is going from date to sales table that means the filter is propagating from date or the dimensional table from one side of the relationship to the many side of the relationship one to many relationship simply means that you have one particular date in the date dimension table and corresponding to that particular date there can be multiple rows in my sales or my fact table this is my table where you can see that i have my model name which is from the product table then i have total number of customers where i have created a measure which is going to give me the count of total customers and their total sales so in each of these model name you will see that the total number of customers are coming same but their total sales are different even for for the first two products there is no sale over here when we are talking about the total number of customers that means we are not filtering over here the number of customers based on the model name we are talking about the total number of customers from our entire data set or the customer dimension table where we are using a measure but here there is no filtering is working on over here if i click on the relationship you will see the cross filtering direction is single the value of the total number of customers is the same for each of the product model name in the matrix the technical reason this happens is because the row labels in the matrix are filtering the model name in the product table in the data model before this measure is evaluated but these same rows are not filtering the customer table at all so that means there is no relationship between the product table and the customer table. So our second concept over here was to discuss over the cross filtering visuals. This is my table and if I bring any other visual for example I am gonna bring a slicer over here and this slicer I am gonna put a value for example let's say size. So we are gonna check the size over here as a filter and you will see we have different size so if i select any of the size it's filtering my correspondingly table or the matrix where i have my data so that is cross filtering you can stop it if you will go over there in the format pane then you have edit in interaction so uh, with the help of this you can even stop it cross filtering means you are selecting something from one of the visual and the correspondingly other visuals are getting affected or they are getting filtered 
The filtering in a matrix is called initial filter context. Over here, you will see this is my matrix and based on the model name, my total sales are getting uh, filtering out. Correspondingly, for every model, we have a different sales and that's filtering out. That is known as your very first initial filter context. So the initially filter context is the standard filtering coming from a matrix before any possible modifications are applied from DAX formulas using calculate. What all that means that whenever we are putting any dimension over here and then the correspondingly measures or the values, then the very first filter that is happening, that is happening because of this initial filter context in the matrix. So if I'll go back again in my data model over here, you will notice that we have this product table from where I'm getting my model number and then I have a sales from where I'm getting the sales amount as my sales total sales for those particular model names. So the filter is propagating over here using one to many relationships and they are the model names. So corresponding to those model names, I'm getting the different sales amount. Those sales amounts are coming as a part of the initial filter context. But apart from that, there are other filters that we can apply, for example, just now I applied the slices of the size so this is the outer filter context that I'm gonna apply over here but not only that if I need to apply some more filters then I can use the calculate text function and using which I can apply those filtering because calculate function is basically used to modify the filter context Now let's talk about the reading part of this initial filter context, how we can read it. So in this matrix, you can see I have their different model name once more and the total customers and this one. Total customers are not getting affected. Reason being over here, if I show you over here, total number of customers, I'm applying DEX over here to calculate a measure. And this is gonna apply on the whole data set. So that's why you will get the same number of total number of customers. And it's not just corresponding to this. Actually, this total number of customers are the total number coming from the customer table and there is no effect on this uh, particularly initial filter context on this one. However, it's gonna affect the total sales because it's gonna get the individual sales for each model name. Now let's come to the last part of this video where we are going to discuss about the flow of initial filter context or basically the understanding of the initial filter context, how we can understand this one. Once you know what the initial filter context is, you can mentally apply the following steps to your data model and track how the filters flow through relationships. The very first, we are going to talk about the initial filter context coming from the visual applied to the underlying table in the data model, which I explained to you earlier, whenever we have this product table, so from there, one product is getting selected and corresponding to that, many uh, rows of the sales are there and which we are calculating over here. And because of that, we are getting this total sales. So in total sales also, we have applied the some aggregation function, DEX function over here. And once we have this applied, so this model name, no matter what under this model name, how many products are coming, all of those sales are gonna appear over here. So that is the very first step we need to always keep in mind how the filter is working. The second one is the filter applied to the product table automatically propagates through the relationship between the tables flowing downhill to the connected tables so again you will see over here it's coming as a downhill we call it the downhill because we always put our dimensional tables on the top and since there is a one relationship and the arrow is also coming this way so we call it just like the downhill third is the connected table the sales table is then also filtered correspondingly to that particular product so if uh, these two tables, if you will see, they are connected using the product key for one particular product or the model name, definitely there is a uh, one product key for one product key correspondingly, there would be, you will find a lot of product keys or the rows over there and hence it's going to get filtered it out over here. 
So let's now include one more field in this table or the matrix which I'm going to call the total number of products. I'm going to create a new measure uh, say total product. What I'm going to apply I'm going to distinct count because it's uh, the dis individual product so I can just uh, apply the count over here not the sum that function. Under this mountain 100 model name you will see there are 396 number of products however for the mountain 200 and road 250 they are the different number of products so now it's giving me the count of those products and how it's actually happening what i'm doing i'm just calculating the number of products or the based on the number of product key based on this initial table filter you should be able to read uh, this filter context so we call it whenever we are working on this type of matrix or whenever we are putting something in the table or matrix and uh, the very first column the dimension column which is filtering out the data so we'll say it on this table model name is the initial filter context for total number of customers total sales or the number of products that's how we can easily read it even if this doesn't seem right to you yet realize that it is working as designed understanding gives you power so stick with it until you are clear about how it works read it again and again go through this video again and again try to understand what is filter propagation how it is actually working then you will get to know exactly what is filter propagation concept in DAX. You should always keep in mind the relationship where the arrow is pointing. If you will see back side of the arrow and the face of the arrow towards the sales table. So that simply means your date table is filtering out the sales table which is your fact table and date table is your dimension table. So guys once again I request you to go through this video again and again try to read your data model and then get to know what is filter propagation how you are going to read the initial filter context from the table and i'm sure i'm 101 percent sure that you will get this concept and this would make your life much easier while you are designing the different dex uh, measures and you are writing the dex code you are performing a lot of calculations